Hello, my name is Austin Rook, and I'm going to be presenting on a research project I did last semester, which touched on the relationship between Burr culture and Ray music, and how music has been used as a tool in modern and contemporary French society to kind of create a cultural identity in that group. So starting off with a brief background of both Ray music and Burr culture, um, both of those things came out of the French occupation period of Algeria, which lasted from 1830 until 1962. Um, and for the majority of that time, Algeria was considered a part of metropolitan France. So it was just as much France as uh, the European French country was, and it wasn't as much a colony as some of the other uh, French colonies existed around the world. Um, so this meant that um, those of Algerian descent living in, but living in Algeria were just as much French citizens as um, anyone else, um, and therefore they had free movement and access to the same resources that you know any other French citizen would. Um, this also meant that a lot of European citizens moved to Algeria um, for both economic and political reasons, and this created political tensions, which eventually led to the French and Algerian War, um, and led to uh, Algerian getting their independence in 1962. And then immediately after this, a lot of Algerian, um, those of Algerian descent moved to metropolitan France um, for the kind of the same reasons for economic or religious reasons. So out of this came the development of the Burr movement in the 1980s in which second and third generation immigrants of these individuals that had left Algeria, um, their kids or their grandkids grew up um, kind of living between two cultures and having two cultural identities, that of their family um, and the community that they had back in Algeria, and then also trying to integrate into modern French society. Um, so this was a large political movement um, in which they're trying to adapt and shape French culture and society and kind of define what that is. Um, and a large disparity exists to this day between uh, those groups, those second and third generation groups and French citizens because of their differences and their historical past. So the best way to, to describe these individuals would be to say that they're transcultural, meaning that they have kind of aspects of both of those cultural identities. Um, and this identity has been greatly shaped by, um, of course, the political history between France and Algeria um, and the immigration that their families went through, um, as well as kind of the clashing of cultures. So they'll have aspects of French culture mixed with mixed within um, Algerian culture, which is where you get the, the term Burr, which is a slang word, meaning um, someone of Arab descent. Um, and it was originally used kind of in a derogatory way, but it was since embraced kind of to represent that specific group of people. Um, and these aspects of cultural identity are expressed all throughout France um, in the media, such as in art, film, and music, which was the focus of my project to um, kind of dive into how this cultural identity takes its form in music. Now kind of backtracking a little bit to the origins of Ray music, um, it came into that same period where Algeria was under French rule um, as a form of folk or, po folk or popular music. Um, and the main message that separated from other genres of music at the time was that it touched on different social issues or things going on in society. And they often touched on issues regarding uh, colonialization as they were going through that at the time. Um, and the genre really became popular and successful internationally in the 1980s when the Burr movement and those second and third um, generation immigrants kind of adopted the music and kind of made it their own thing. Um, so in that way, it was used to kind of express and create that identity that we see now in these individuals um, and also to kind of, you know, support that. Um, and something interesting about it is that it came from all sorts of genres, so through aspects of Western music, uh, Eastern music, jazz, folk, pop, rock, all sorts of things are in there, and it really kind of sets it apart for that reason. So some of the themes that we can see in rain music is it really poses the big question of what it means to be French and how that is defined in modern society. Um, there's also aspects of um, cultural diversity and what that looks like in France, cultural struggles as these people that are creating the music um, and listening to it are using it to kind of identify and create a sense of community, uh, as well as discrimination. In a lot of the musicians' work, you, you can see their personal experiences going through this issue and um, the disparity that exists in modern France. So now kind of diving into one of these songs uh, as an example of what this list looks like uh, in French music, I'm going to be looking at a song by the singer Faudel, um, who was born in outside of Paris to Algerian parents, um, and he was popular in the um, late 1990s and early 2000s, so he's in that um, second generation of immigrants, so he never was, he wasn't raised in Algeria, um, but it was still a part of his identity. And he was, he was introduced to Ray music as a child through his family and through that sense of community. Um, and that's very evident in his. 
So in this song titled uh, Mon Pe, uh, which means my country, um, you can see a lot of those same things where he's expressing um, his connection to his country, how important that is to him, and then also how important those sentiments are to his his uh, bond with his family. In this, in this song, he's talking about um, experiences that his father had and how he kind of wants to experience that, but then also kind of the struggles that he has because he was born in Paris. Um, yeah, so the original is there on the, on the left-hand side of the screen, and then the translated version is on the right. So looking at what the future of what this looks like in modern France and what the future of Ray music and bird culture is, uh, the message that both of these movements and the genre music have uh, been trying to communicate has really become more foundational in French culture and French society. Um, and it's really kind of shaped what culture is going to look like in the future as um, bird, bird culture has kind of been adapted into modern French culture and mainstream French culture. And this has kind of created a shared history between the two groups. Um, and it's something that's now acknowledged and talked about. Well, whereas in the past it wasn't. Um, and this also represents an unsuccessful kind of assimilation of bird culture as they were able to maintain and hold on to their cultural identity. And rather than um, assimilate into French culture, they were able to change French culture to kind of um, reflect what they've been through and what their experiences are. Um, and that's all I have for my presentation. Thank you very much.